Welcome to my latest video diary. I'm here today with Greg Leeson, um, who's part of the Heart response team. Heart is the hazardous area response team. Greg's a team leader, and uh, he's just going to quickly explain some of the IT equipment that he can use remotely on a mobile control unit in the event of uh, a chemical, biological, radiological, or nuclear incident. Hi, good morning. Um, this is a standalone control unit which is being utilised by the hazardous area response team. In front of me, as a dispatch, you've got four different screens. All screens are interchangeable, so if you're unhappy with the layout, you can swap them anyway. But the reasonable layout is you normally have Sky News or BBC News. We've got the CCTV cameras here, so you can do whatever you want here. You can monitor and see what's going on. It also has the option of thermal imaging. So you can switch to thermal imaging, so if at night you're looking for anybody or you're looking for any hotspots, you can use this then for that aspect. Um, with this system we also have body-worn cameras. These are two cameras that are being worn by our individuals outside. So they can wear those cameras, go into hazardous situations with live feedback directly to the control centre here. This screen mainly is the, the main computer screen and it uses the, we, we use it for telephone conferencing so every vehicle has a telephone, all radio communications come in here and we can then interlink them together and put them together and conference call so your silver commander who's not on site and your bronze commander who's got a telephone we can then conference call them straight away this is our internet screen so we can use this to go into health protection agencies or use it for mapping the mapping system we can then display on the big board behind me and then you can use this for doing briefings. So for us coming down here today, we would have come down off around and along. So you can then say, well, there's our RV point, um, helicopter landing zone we're gonna put there. And then by doing that, you can then get a rough idea of what your layout's gonna be. You can then print that up, give it to any bronze officer who arrives on scene, or any of the fire or police officers can then come to the vehicle. They can see it on the outside and everybody gets the same information. 